Hi, my name is Chris Rudsky. I'm the chair of the Outreach Committee for Healthcare for All PA Education Fund. We're here at the University of Pittsburgh talking to students about healthcare. <laughs> I mean, it's frustrating to me that the people in Congress right now that are reacting to this are the ones that have these like great healthcare plans and they're saying, oh, we don't want other people to have what we have. So that's frustrating because like I want let's see you give up your health care plan to cut the federal budget or whatever they say. Hmm, the current health care system, I think it could be better because I feel like so many people, especially like poor people, don't have insurance. So I think we could be able to provide better health care for people who, are like, who don't have money to afford health care. The issue that I have is really with the drug companies who have free license to charge whatever price they deem for any, any medical necessity. I'm a social work major, so uh, I really am for things like justice. So <laughs> I definitely think it's a human rights issue for everyone to have health care. And if you look at most of the rest of the world, it seems like a more workable system, more humane system that people can, you know, get health care no matter who they are. And here it's, we're kind of saying, well, if you don't have the means, if you don't, not able then you don't deserve it almost. Uh, I really don't know much about it but so far it's worked out pretty well for me. So you're covered then? Yeah. Insurance and everything? Yeah. I guess I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I know every time I go to the doctor since I don't have insurance it always costs more than I want. Five percent? <laughs> it's about 40 to 60. Oh wow. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it was over a quarter. Uh, what is it? It's 40 to 60 percent. That's pretty staggering. Do you think universal health care would be more or less expensive than what we have now? Oh, probably less expensive than what we have now. It's really, really expensive right now. It seems to be uh, a profitable thing, a much too profitable thing, when that shouldn't be, that shouldn't really play any concern. How many people do you think are like, uninsured? Uh, really good percentage. I know that much. Uh, we have seen so far that private health care doesn't really work. You look around the world, places that have public health care, Cuba, UK, France, they all have, like Cuba has better health care than us. That's something we should be working to, like, we should work, be working to improve that instead of, like, pushing ourselves back into the stone ages. I'd probably guess Guam. Yeah, it turns out it's the U.S. It's about triple. Really? Yeah, Guam. So oh, I'd say Guam, but I don't know. And it turns out it's the U.S. It's the U.S., Higher. really? Yeah. Wow. I would say Guam. It's the U.S. So based on some of the, the stuff that was being thrown around in the media, um, there seems to be a lot of misperceptions about what it really means. At least a lot of people my age are for it. I'm not so sure what older people think. but I mean, I think it depends on political lines. Democrats are for it, Republicans are against I it. Think People are pretty uncomfortable with the idea of healthcare because of the dollar sign attached to it in this country. I think that the conservative political machine likes to divide people and make them think that, like, oh, you worked for your money, you shouldn't give all these poor people your money to have their health care. Of course, you hear the arguments that people are, you know, who are lazy, who, you know, don't deserve it. Um, I, and I actually have quite, talked to quite a few people who think that way. Um, however, I know a lot of my contemporaries here at the university do not feel that way. They rather kind of share my sentiments that. Uh, what we are doing right now is not fair. The estimates are probably really high. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, like it, in the millions, probably? No, it's not that high, but it okay. turns out to be for, about 45,000 people. That's enough. <laughs> and, and that's yeah, but that's still 45,000 people that would not have died otherwise just because things cost money. Right. You know, but like, what's the value of human life? And do you think healthcare is a right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Do you think healthcare is a right? Yes, absolutely, completely.